dryness of its land. Please, my lord, we beg you to believe us. We are twelve siblings. Our youngest brother is with our father in the land of Canaan. The other... is already gone. To me, you are no more than spies. You will have to prove to me that you're telling the truth. We will do what's necessary, my lord. On the life of the Pharaoh of Egypt, I say that you will not leave this place until your youngest brother is brought here. Please eat. I'm not hungry. I worry about your brothers. The anguish is killing me. Me too, father. Do you think they made it to Egypt? Do you think they'll make it back? Unfortunately, there is no way for us to know, Father. Father, uh, I will go to Hebron with Mara and Sela to try trading the furs. What's the use, Benjamin? We all know there's no food in Hebron. But we can give it a try. Your sister is right, Benjamin. And besides, it's too dangerous. Everywhere in the streets, there are muggers and thieves. You are trying to protect me again, Father. I'm a grown man. I will be safe. My son, I only want Father, to... Father, if no one in this camp tries to get food, we will starve to death in a few days. It may take a while for my brothers to return. Very well, then. But be very careful. Don't worry, Father. But then at least, bring some bread with you, Benjamin. Yes, thank you. Please, my lord, do not do this. Our brother is far away and we need to bring food home urgently. If we stay longer in Egypt, our family will soon starve, my lord. I think they're telling the truth, Joseph. Zaphanoth Panea. What? Call me by my Egyptian name in front of these men, Mitri. All right. I'm sorry. One of you will return to Canaan to fetch your brother. In the meantime, the rest of you will remain prisoners in Avaris. It's to prove that you're telling the truth. Now then, who's going back to fetch your youngest brother? My lord, crossing the desert is a very risky journey. Please be merciful on our souls. Set us free. If you sell us some food, we will immediately go back home. You'll see then that we're not spies. I've already given my terms. If you cannot comply, I have no way of knowing the truth. Guards! Take these men to prison! No! Do it now! Please go! Great Lord of all from foreign lands who are looking for food is utterly dangerous. Zafinath Panea is performing enriching Egypt at the same time, and he knows how to negotiate the grain. But when almost all of the wheat that the Jews said he stored for us are about to be exhausted, it's possible the ruler will be inclined to give the foreigners more privilege. After all, like those people, he is also a foreigner. I don't think you should dare question the loyalty of the mighty ruler, Lord High Priest. Zaphonath Panea is saving the land of Egypt. Great royal wife, it is not a question of loyalty, but rather a question of estimation. Because if all the grains are used up, what will happen then? Joseph has everything under control, Lord Pentifreys. The ruler is fully trustworthy. Fully trustworthy? Wasn't he the very same one who spent a number of years in jail? Having been accused of attempting to assault your woman, Potiphar. Why do you bring up such an old story to the table, Lord Pentifreeze? What's going on in your mind, High Priest? Has the drought reignited in you the malevolent wish to harm Zaphinath Panea? Perhaps I should remind you, High Priest, that if any harm should befall Zaphinath Panea, your head will be rolling down the stairways of this palace. I am fully aware of that, my living Horus. You do not need to remind me that my life is attached to the life of that Jew. I am only giving you a reminder to be more cautious. Even the most trustworthy of all confidence can commit mistakes, am I right? Only one mistake is needed to determine the fate of Egypt. because I am weak. I tried hard to resist, but still I could not help giving in to my darkest yearnings. I deeply implore you, O oh Lord. Please do not punish Reuben for the mistakes we made. 
Allow him to come back home safely together with my sons Dan and Naphtali. Because if there's anyone who should pay dearly for these sins, that person is me. I'm begging you, Lord. I sincerely and deeply implore you from the bottom of my heart. I didn't mean to interrupt. I'm already done praying, Nama. You prayed for Ruben? Leave me alone. No, wait. I'm asking you to pray for Ruben. What? The first time that I saw your people pray to your God, I was overwhelmed. It is so different from the way my people prayed. Instead of looking at a clay statue, you look at the sky and the immense grandeur above us. You believe in a God that you cannot see nor can touch, but one that you can feel. That's him. That is our God. He is within our midst. In spite of all that we have gone through, he is here with us. But I fear, Billa, that he won't listen to me the way he listens to you. If you pray with faith, and you pray with an open heart, I'm sure he will Can hear we you. pray together, Billa? Huh? Please, Billa. Please allow me to kneel in prayer beside you, and pray for Reuben with me. Can you do that for me? I will do anything just to have him back. Anything at all. All right. Pray for us, Bella, and pray for Ruben. to our most humble prayer. Provide the means for those men who are dear to us to come home safely with food we need. Please help us so that we may survive and continue to live in this land you gave us. Do not allow our people to perish. This gentleman wants ten sacks of wheat in exchange for two lambs. What do you say, Zapinath Panea? Is that fair? Joseph? Are you all right? No, Mitri, I'm not all right. What is wrong? Everything is spinning. My head hurts. I cannot concentrate anymore. You have been that way ever since you saw those men. It has nothing to do with that. It's just the heat. It is very hot today. Yes. Just go home then for the rest of the day. You've worked non-stop for almost nine years. So can you take care of things for me? Of course, you can always trust me. I'll continue with the trading the same way that we have done them over the past days. Better get some rest, Joseph. You don't look too well. Thank you, Mitri. Sentries! The Lord Zafinov Panea will be returning to his house now. How about taking eight sacks of the wheat and two sacks of barley for the lambs? Look who we have here, new prisoners. Who are these people? The ruler has these men arrested. He suspects they are spies. No, no, we're not spies, my lord. I swear to you. It was all a misunderstanding. The ruler was mistaken. Zapinov Panea mistaken? It's impossible. Because of him, we didn't go hungry. Thanks to him, we have enough food on our tables. That's why we came to Egypt. We were looking for food. 
There's no reason to arrest us. Our people are all in Canaan without any food. Our children are also... No more complaints from you. Get them out of my sight. But we did not do anything wrong. You all heard Lord Seneb. Start walking. Let's go. Move. I said move. You move. don't have to be rough on us. You are making a big mistake, my lord. A big mistake? In all of his years as a ruler, he has never sent anyone to prison. He must have a good reason to do it.